or we would be forced to survive. We'd be thinking of where am I going to get my food? How am I going to have shelter over my head? How am I going to uh, stay alive another day? We wouldn't be thinking like, oh, am I a man or am I a woman? No. Well, this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender ideology is that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean. Like, what is a woman? Well, can you tell me what a woman is? No, I can't. Because but, it's not for me to say. I, womanhood looks different for everybody. What do, you, what do you define a woman as? An adult human female. And what does a female mean? Uh, what, well, that's how do you, how do you define a someone with, with female reproductive organs. Okay. Someone who's, you know, here's the thing. When you're, when you're female, it goes right down to your bones, your DNA. So that's why if someone dies, okay. we could dig up their bones 100 years from now. We have no idea what they believed in their head, but we can tell what sex they were okay. because it's, in, it's down in, it's, it's in, ingrained in every fiber of their being. Interesting. So I'm trying to understand. Your definition is that a woman is someone who is female, you said, right? Correct. Gotcha. Is okay. a biological female. So what happens if we have maybe someone who is female, identifies as a woman, right? You know, cisgender woman, right? As you explained, as you just explained, but maybe doesn't have the ability to reproduce. Well, maybe doesn't well, have those organs that you're talking about well, that are well, reproductive organs. Maybe. I have answered the question. You stood up here and said trans women are women. Yes. Tell me what you mean. What is a woman? Womanhood is something that, just as Ethan explained, I cannot define because I am not but myself. you used the word. So what did you mean when you said trans women are women if you don't know what it means? Right. So here's the thing. So I do not define what a woman is because I do not identify as a woman. Womanhood is something that is an umbrella term. It includes people that who... That describes what? People who identify as a woman. I identify as what? As a woman. What is that? Was to each their own. Okay. Each woman, each man, each person is going to have a different relation with their own gender identity and define it differently. That, that and so I'm trans women are women too. Okay. And you want to, and hold on, hold on. Trans you women are women. Reduce, you, what, listen, you won't listen, even tell me what the word reduce, means though. So you that's the problem. You want to reduce women, you want to reduce men down to maybe just their genetics, our genitals, no. our chromosomes, right? That's what you're what saying. You is that is that's what, what, you, what you want to do is appropriate women you want to appropriate womanhood okay. and turn it into basically a costume that could be worn. We've got, when, when so we've, as a yeah, it's man, real funny. You're it's real funny. It's real funny when you're. What a woman you're, should look yeah. like. Right. As a man, you're literally saying this <laughs> yeah. is what a woman is. Yeah. Well, that, I, isn't that I, a little I sexist? Because I, I am willing well, to define it, but you. Why are they giving a stage to these clowns, bro? I find it enriching when they say you're going to reduce a woman. To, to a specific set of chromosomes when what they're doing is reducing a woman to a feeling. Do you not see how, how that's more reductionist and more damaging? Yeah, they're reducing it to a label. Just an emotion, you know? I don't have two X chromosomes. I don't have to go through labor. But you know what? Let's put all that aside. I just feel like, you know, I understand. And if I just decide I'm a woman, I'm a woman, bro. But look how sad it is, too, that you have the crowd, like, basically cheering that on and, like, clapping and everything for that. That just goes to show how backwards times we live in. When you have this guy who's an intellectual, he, he, but he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth that if you were to take the, the sample from the bones of someone who lived thousands of years ago, you would be able to tell what sex they were, whether it was a woman or whether it was a man. And they're over here trying to argue, okay, well, what is a woman? What is a woman? Like, have you, have you lost, have you lost your reasoning? Like, have you lost your understanding that it's so simple as to what a man and what a woman is now, whether you identify as something else, that's completely different. And that's mm -hmm. the argument that they were trying to make. But it's like, even then, like, it doesn't matter if you identify as a woman and you're a man, you're still a man. You still have the male reproductive organs. That doesn't change. You know, and there's mm -hmm. very few cases where you do have a, a human being that has both sexual organs. You're talking about the, the hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodites, but bro. Lot... These are like the... Allah's made them that way. There's no sin in that. Exactly. But these are the, the true mm. um the true ones that can identify as either or. The true non-binary. 
Exactly, bro. Yeah. This is the true non-binary, not this this mental disorder that people have where they think, ah, uh, I'm a man and really they're a woman or vice versa. Or they just think that they're not even a gender. Bro, mm. like, what is this? What is this, man? Like, okay, if if you're a man and you are a trans and, and you just, you're turning into a woman and um, you're trying to look like a woman, you're trying to be a woman, you're trying to feel like a woman, think like a woman, do everything as a woman, but in reality, you're still a man. Hmm. It's just a confused man, bro. So like, weird. I've seen men that go through all these surgeries, all these hormones, still got facial hair, even the ones that don't got facial hair, and they, they kind of look like a woman. All they got to do is just say something, and then I know they're they're trans, bro. Yeah. Like, it's not, you're never going to be a woman, and vice versa. If you're a woman trying to do female to male transition, you're never going to be a man. See, in healthcare, what we're dealing with right now when we deal with patient files, bro, we don't care about gender in the ER you know, life and death. We don't care about any of that. If you don't tell me you're a male and you're biologically a male, like you have an X and a Y chromosome, then you're in trouble if we waste time and, and you know, if we think you're a woman and vice versa. So mm-hmm. these cases, they don't, they don't, these are first world problems and, and modern, I guess, diseases when we have too much time and too much stability and security on our hands. Decades ago, Centuries ago, we were dealing with war and famine and poverty and and real crises, bro, where we didn't have the privilege to just wonder, what do I feel like I'm I'm today, masculine or feminine? Where we had legit issues, bro. Like, do we put food on the table or do we have to hunt? Or do we have? Are we gonna die? Like, what's gonna happen? And today, it's yeah. like we have a generation of of men raised by the system, bro. And the system's not gonna produce men that are men because if they did, there would be no system, bro. Because men wouldn't wouldn't tolerate all the things that the system is doing, bro. Yeah, we live, like I said, we live in backwards times. Um, it definitely is creating the weakest of weakest of men, but also the weakest of women as well. As you can tell, like women are not safe in this either. Women are mm-hmm. also subject to this. Um, but something that I think is funny is uh, this one guy on here. He, he says he's a trans. He says he's a girl. Um, but he still has a beard. And like, that just looks funny to me. And then it's like, oh, well, uh, hold up. I'm not she anymore. I'm it. I'm it. I'm, I'm non-binary. It's like, when does this stop, bro? Mm. When does this stop? And like you said, bro, if there was a war, but if, if there was something going on, it would. this would not be happening, bro. We wouldn't have the luxury of thinking like, oh, am I a man? Am I a woman? No, bro, we would be forced to survive. We'd be thinking of where am I going to get my food? How am Mm -hmm. I going to have shelter over my head? How am I going to uh, stay alive another day? We wouldn't be thinking like, oh, am I a man or am I a woman? No. So it's just... These are are modern-day luxuries, bro. Bro, you want to know the saddest thing? Mm. There are Muslims. There are Muslims that do this. Mm-hmm. That there's, identify there's as Muslims. Oh, my God. Bro. We're going to do a whole reaction to that, bro, with Rami. We can't do that right now because Rami's not here. But it's crazy, bro. It's crazy how they're trying to repaint the narrative, bro. May Allah guide them, bro, in, in simple layman terms, guys, for a closing note. All we're saying is we're not we're not transphobic. We're not homophobic. You can put whatever shaming tactic you want. I don't give a damn what you call us. But I have a genuine question. If, if you are confused and you identify on the spectrum or whatever you want to call it, and you made it this far somehow without just being triggered, Cause just the fact that you know me and Anho, we can speak into a mic, into a screen, and there's someone on the other side of the screen right now that are literally gonna be so triggered with what we're saying. That's another point. That's another topic. But if you made it this far, my question to you is, where do you draw the line? You have people saying they want to identify as another species. You have people identifying as another race, as an ethnicity. You have trans race, right? We we did the trans Korean a few months ago. Right, on. you have people identifying as trans-abled now. 
they literally feel they should be disabled. So they're literally cutting off body parts to be paraplegic or quadriplegic. They're just amputating. Like, like bro, what? When is this That's genital so and dumb. body mutilation going to end in the name of gender expression? Yeah. This is this is bull, bro. Dog. This is bullish. Dog. And, and some people might make the argument of like, oh, well, we're not in those times. Like, we're, we're not experiencing those difficulties or the um i don't know how else to put it the war i don't know how how to say it without you know actually saying that word but um if someone makes that argument just like think about it, like okay so you are acknowledging your weakness you are acknowledging that you are being ludicrous that you're just being what you're doing is just being a degenerate it's Fox. just blasphemous like what's going on in your head what you're doing your actions and everything and you are just acknowledging that by saying that okay well so what we're not in these times so we don't have to be thinking about these things it's like there, there is no argument that can be made against this there is no argument that this is just this is a, a sickness of the mind because of the times that we live in this so, is, uh, I mean, what's the take-home message here, bro? The take-home message is if you feel the way you feel and you want to identify and you want to limit yourself to a feeling, go for it. I got nothing else to tell you. Just like all these people that are so into red pill and neck cow, they see everyone as alpha and beta. Like Angel said, you wanna you wanna limit yourself to terms that we use to describe animals in evolutionary biology, go for it. You wanna limit yourself to an emotion, go for it. I have nothing to tell you. But if you wanna take an academic approach into really diving into these issues, check out our episode three, where we really dissect this in a in a very academic manner, in a very professional manner. And we present the evidence that this is a disorder. And what you want to do with that is on you. I can't force you to do anything. Yeah, I think the take-home message for people who aren't having an issue with this type of thing is that hey, we live in some backwards times. And it's, it's breeding weak men and weak women. So I think now is the time to uh buzz down and you know get 10 toes into your dean and just developing yourself as a man as a woman and just being stronger because we need it right now i like that perfect all right guys until next time stay tuned assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh i think there's another thing too it's it's the perseverance aspect too like, we're more willing to stick through with things that we set out with an intention. It's impossible to have empathy for others if you're not patient. So my love, bless you for that. First of all, I agree with the fact that the whole thing you said about friends, where it's like, if, if they're affecting you more than you're affecting them, then you should probably get some new friends. You want to be investing in stocks, shares, bonds. You want to be investing in crypto because there's this thing called inflation, which means every year that passes by, the value of a dollar goes lower and lower and lower. And the reason being is because they're printing more money, right? That's why money is haram. At least the paper money is haram. Provided that you're actually there and you're being a good father and the mother's being a good mother, best conditions. And behind the mic, Hamza, Andreas, Zortzis, we will go in with our final three with brother Angel, inshallah. Inshallah, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It's not just a responsibility on you. It's a responsibility on all the children, especially your father. In our private area is very elastic. And yeah, if you go too fast, the skin will literally crease up into like the edge of like the little clipper things. And you will literally clip your skin. You don't want to be on YouTube or the internet or anything that, that amount of time. But it's, it's the, the fact is that's what we're doing. Mm-hmm.